Hi, my name is Mike Thune, and I'm the Fire Information Officer at Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. My primary job is to communicate and educate the public about our fire and aviation management program. In my job, one of the terms that is becoming more and more commonplace is the phrase prescribed burn. And one of the questions that I'm commonly asked is how we plan and prepare for a prescribed burn. But what exactly is a prescribed burn? A prescribed burn is when we choose to burn a part of the forest in order to fix a problem and make the forest healthier. Just like a doctor might give you medicine to fix a problem and make you feel better. The forests in the Sierra Nevada need fire in order to be healthy. Because people put out fires for so many years here, there are a lot of areas with too many trees and wood that can burn, which could lead to a catastrophic wildfire. We have to carefully use a prescribed burn in areas like this to make sure the forest stays healthy for a long period of time. So how do we plan and prepare for a prescribed burn? First, we have to look at how healthy the forest is. Maybe fire is needed and maybe it's not. It's really important that we think about how frequently fire naturally occurs in an area historically. We ask the question, is fire a common part of that landscape in the first place? Because the goal of a prescribed burn is to mimic a natural fire as closely as possible. Once we know that a prescribed burn is needed in a certain area to keep the forest healthy, it is then time to start to plan the prescribed burn process. When it's time to plan a prescribed burn, we create something called a polygon. Polygons are multi-sided shapes, more complex than triangles, squares, or circles. We outline a polygon on a map in order to identify exactly where we're going to burn and how big the burn is going to be. After we decide where we're going to do a prescribed burn, we wait to make sure that the weather is just right. Not too hot, not too cold, not too wet, or not too dry. We call it the Goldilocks theory. Once we determine that it's just right to start the prescribed burn, we start filling our polygon shape with fire. Preparing an area for a prescribed burn is very similar to how we would build a trail. We use special tools to build a fire line, which looks like a trail through the forest. We separate that area that we're going to burn from the area that we're not going to burn. It takes a long time to prepare a polygon for a prescribed burn, and it is very labor intensive. Once we've created the fire line, we can safely begin the prescribed burn and put fire on the ground. One of the ways that we can fight fire is by removing the fuel that the fire needs. Fire needs three things to burn, heat, fuel, and oxygen. We call this the fire triangle. If we can remove one of those things, the fire triangle will collapse and the fire will burn itself out. Our fire line helps remove fuel from the fire triangle. We can also use water to remove heat from a fire. By having control of the fire triangle through the use of fire lines and water, we can keep prescribed burns exactly where we want them. The fire line also separates the vegetation that we want to burn from the vegetation that we don't want to burn. It helps us to continue to control the fire triangle. One of the tools that we will use in order to build a fire line for a prescribed burn is called a combination tool, or combi for short. It has a shovel at a 90 degree angle to the handle on one end and a pick opposite the shovel. The shovel and pick make a T shape when held vertically. A wildland fire team uses another tool called a Pulaski. It's a long handle tool with an ax and hoe on one end, both at a 90 degree angle to the handle. We can use a Pulaski both for cutting and scraping in order to build a fire line. Once we've prepared the fire line, we're ready to fill our polygon with fire by beginning ignitions. One of the ways you do ignitions in Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks is with a special tool called a drip torch. A drip torch is basically an aluminum gas can with a long spout that drips fuel mix over a special candle wick. It allows us to be very accurate about where and when we want to put fire on the ground. Now that we have prescribed burn on the landscape, we're going to monitor it and make sure that the fire stays within that polygon shape that we established with our fire lines at the beginning. The prescribed burn that we started will ultimately be put out by rain or snow depending on the time of year we started it. Not all fires in the Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks are prescribed burns. Some fires are caused naturally. They start by a lightning strike high in the Sierra Nevada, especially during the summer months. When those fires start, we have to make a critical decision. Should we put the fire out and try to contain it? Or should we manage that fire to help keep the forest healthy? A fire that keeps the forest healthy is called a resource benefit fire. It's a fire that does not threaten people or property and will create benefits for the ecosystem. 
One of the deciding factors for allowing a resource benefit fire to keep burning is the location of that fire. Those special areas could be sequoia groves where fires have naturally occurred for thousands of years. What we've realized in recent years is that if we put out every fire, we are not helping the forest stay healthy because fire plays a critical role in the overall health of the forest. There are hundreds of thousands of acres of land in places like Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks in the Sierra Nevada. Because of that, the option to do a prescribed burn in areas that are extremely valuable, like giant sequoia groves, are important. It is equally important to allow these naturally caused fires, such as lightning fires, to burn in an area at a time when we can monitor and take action if we need to. One of the things that I've noticed over the years as people become more aware of the practice of prescribed burning is its importance. Since prescribed burns are done under the best weather conditions and at a time that makes them safe, they are less expensive than fighting a wildfire because they're essentially planned events. People have also started to realize that a little bit of smoke from a prescribed burn prevents a lot more smoke from a wildfire. Using prescribed burns and managing natural fires in the forest are important tools we have available to us at Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. Not only are they safer for firefighters in the community, they cost less overall and there is less smoke. One of the things that firefighters really wish the public would ask us when they see us in the park is where they can learn more. We really want to direct people to the resources that we have on our website and other places that tell the importance of both using prescribed burns and managed natural fires for the health of the forest. We hope you've gained a better understanding of the benefits of prescribed burns in national parks. If you want to learn more, visit our website at go.mps.gov slash seekyfire.